Hi there, it's Manal from Mini's Craft Kitty. Thanks for watching my tutorial today. Today I'm going to show you this lovely rosette which I have made for Eid theme. Uh, you can use this as something to hold on into your uh, planters or in your passages and your dining rooms and your living rooms. These look pretty cute and these just add on to your home decor ideas it's really easy to make and the fun part is that you can either make it in double color or you can make it in single color uh, for today's tutorial i'm going to show you how can you make it in a single color also in the next tutorials i will be showing you how to use these rosettes to make uh, a banner uh, i'm going to make an Eid Mubarak theme banner which you can just diy and put in your rooms so let's just get started with it for this tutorial you're going to need two pieces of any colored cardstock I have taken black because I've chosen to go with black and gold theme so for this I'm going to make the rosette in just black not any other color but it's up to you with whatever color you prefer you can use that then you need glue I did have a non-stick sheet of uh, paper but if you do not have it there's no need to worry about you can just simply put something under the rosette so that the glue does not stick to your working surface simple glue white craft glue a kebab stick I purchased these in a pack of I guess they were 30 in a pack and they were pretty cheap uh, you can use any size kebab stick depending on the size of the pot you're placing your rosette in and some circles to put in the let me just show you to put on the front and one at the back just to give it a nice beautiful finish okay so for the rosette itself you need two strips of paper which are two and a half by 11 inches okay so this strip is your is going to be scored at every half an inch literally every half half one one and a half two two and a half three and so on this is going to give those rosettes that pleated shape if you do not have the scoreboard there's nothing to worry about let me just show you okay another thing i have made this rosette which is large uh, let me tell you its diameter this measures almost uh, four and a half inches okay so the diameter of your rosette depends on the width of your paper the base one black one is two and a quarter which i have used for this rosette and the top golden one is one and a half inch wide but 11 inches length remains the same okay so it's just the width that determines the diameter of your rosette so let's just get rid of this so now what you're going to do is okay i was telling you if you do not have this board what you're going to do is you are going to take your ruler and take any pencil or any tool that is handy to you just mark at every half an inch at the top and do the same <clears throat> on the bottom okay and then what you can do is you're going to join two points like this something that gives you this effect I don't know if it's visible on the camera so something that gives you such type of crevices or uh, impressions in your paper what you're going to do next is with one strip you're going to start with folding half an inch down and then you continue folding the rosette like this and that's how quickly 
one of your rosettes is formed okay now the second part which is the second strip you're going to start it by folding towards yourself which means the first one was folded outside this one you're going to fold inside and then carry on in this fashion so you see it's pretty easy to be made once you have folded all the sheets make sure you give it a really good press like this now what you're going to do is you're going to take your craft glue and you're going to put glue on this tab and then join this one over here and press it so that it's joined properly okay so do the same thing on this side this is going to come and join like this all right so put a little bit of glue on this side as well and just overlap this part onto this one and just join it at the point where the joint is just fold it once again so the shape is intact now this is something that you're going to get if you're making double layer uh, like the one i showed you previously what you're going to do is you're going to make another one in the same way you're going to put it outside the smaller one is going to put be put outside and then you're going to take both of them together you're just going to gently just push it like this and see easily your rosette is formed okay now we're going to join it which is the tricky part because you are just going to use one of your hands so for this i'm going to use my sticky sheet non-sticking sheet sorry so that the glue does not stick anywhere okay so i'm just going to give this rosette a shape and pour a generous amount of hot glue inside and on top of the rosette and then just give it a good press do not worry if the glue oozes out let it ooze out because it's going to cover the pleats of the rosette and that's how it's going to be stiff in the center and is going to retain its shape this part does take a bit of time but being patient is the only solution because if you hurry then it's not going to give you the end result so i'm just waiting for the glue to cool down a bit so that i can move ahead just make sure that you keep this in place for a bit because you see if i leave it tends to open at this point if you wish you can just add the sentiment on top of it but i'm going to wait for the glue to cool down and then i'm going to put the center okay so this is my center topper it's a bit hot still but i'm quickly going to put glue generously and then i'm going to put it on the center of the rosette like this so you have secured the front of the rosette in this way okay just make sure that it's straight in the center making sure it's 
still hot okay now I'm going to you see there's no glue on this sheet at the back just make sure which is the right side so this is the straight side I'm going to take my kebab stick with the pointed end downward so it's easy for you to put it in your planter this side is going to be attached at the back so let me just figure out the straight straight side okay so it's going to be placed like this on this one so i'm just going to put a bit of more glue and on the circle which is going to cover the back as well and quickly going to put it here and cover it with the circle now if you have any doubt you can just rotate it and see if it's straight or not just make sure that the glue cools down and you give it a good press so covering the kebab stick at the back with a piece of cardstock gives it a very neat and tidy look rather than just a splotch of a blotch of glue lying at the back it doesn't give a good impression okay so in this way another of my rosettes is ready and as you can see you can create a variety of sizes oops and you can see that you can create a variety of sizes just by altering the width of your paper i hope you liked today's tutorial please subscribe to the channel to stay tuned and enjoy more tutorials from my site till then take care bye